Hello and welcome to Jazz Guitar Lessons Berlin. I'm Tina Jekyll and today I'd like to talk about comping. I got a question, how do you practice comping? And you know if you have been watching my Insta story, there's a concert coming up. I have a lot of new tunes I have to practice and one of them is Leicester Leaves Town and it's pretty difficult, at least that's what I find. And I'm going to talk about how I practice that tune and how I practice comping. So one answer that I got very often when I asked how to practice comping is play with other people, play in a band and play as much as you can. And I think of course that is the best solution and you learn so much with playing with people about interaction. But sometimes it's not so easy to have somebody to play with or to have a band. Of course, everybody tells you you're supposed to play with people who are better than you, so but not everybody can play with people who are better than, than themselves. So I think it's good to have some exercises that you can practice anyways. And I'm going to sh show you one of my exercises and it's actually playing in the Freddie Green style. What I mean by this is take a tune and just play it in quarter notes. So um, in the case of um, Lesser Left Town, it uh, starts with a D half diminished. And I just would play something like. So I just would sit down with the metronome on quarter notes and play through the whole form of the song for a really long time. So there's that video from that saxophone player on my music masterclass that I watched and he's talking about timing, you know, comping has a lot to do with timing and um, he has been transcribing all those solos and he has been practicing his time like crazy and still people would come up to him after the show and say something like, hey, you ha have to practice on your time, you have to get a better time, so people from his band. And then he just wondered, man, I'm doing all those transcriptions, I'm just not getting better. And then he's living together with another bass player and he hears him practicing. The bass player practices a blues on 61 beats per minute quarter notes for half an hour. Then the bass player practices the same blues on 62 beats per minute for half an hour. And so on. So I imagine if you would play a walking bass line, you really have like a feeling in your body, you know, you're really like moving your body. And also when you're playing the drums, at least if you're playing them in a more traditional style, you have a really like a feeling. So your whole body is uh, working. And when you're playing the chords in the Freddie, Freddie Green style, you have a chance to have that feeling as well. And then that will help you to internalize the pulse because that's what it's all about, right? You're not going to go on the bandstand and play Freddie Green style. Maybe you're going to play Freddie Green style if you're playing in a big band, but if you're just like playing in a jazz quartet and you want to accompany a saxophone player, then you won't probably do that. But if you have been practicing it like this, chances are that your inner pulse is getting much better so I think the, one of the best things that you probably can do is learn the tune by heart, set the metronome on a tempo like say 100 beats per minute, playing quarter notes, the metronome is quarter notes, you play quarter notes, and then stay with the same tempo and let the metronome be on two and four and play quarter notes. <laughs> today. I hope you're doing fine. Let me know if there's anything you want to do and see you around. Bye!